Okay, everybody, listen up, please. Listen, uh, look, calm, everybody, stay calm. Uh, we've got a little bit of concern about the structural integrity of the factory, and we're a little worried that it might come tumbling down like it's been hit by Ocon. Uh, now, one second, everybody. Hello? Yeah, survey's complete. Excellent, and everything's fine. So I don't have the new rear wing on the car this weekend because nothing was wrong. Hey guys, it's Villain, and welcome back to Forza Ferrari. It's the Singapore Grand Prix today, and unfortunately we only... Well, we were supposed to have two new wings, rear wings on the car. We will just about have one for Mick. Uh, and it's because the factory, there was, a, there was a shutdown for eight days uh, because we were worried about the structural analysis. There was a uh, concern about the structural integrity. Obviously, we had to kind of look into that, and uh, nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. So there we go. Bloody Ferrari, honestly. But... Uh, Better safe than sorry. So it's uh, Singapore today. We uh, we're gonna take a big chunk out of Aston Martin here. I'm hopeful anyway. Let's let's really hope that we can. And um, yeah, there's not too much else to catch you up on other than the fact we do have a a new rear wing, and the new rear wing is we've given it to uh, to Mick because Mick has been uh, the more reliable driver so far this season. So uh, if we go to swap out, yeah, you can see there we're a little bit thin on the ground because I didn't build any extra of this rear wing because we were supposed to have new ones. So there was no point building an older design but yeah it's uh it's sort of all a little bit messy here if we if we have a couple of uh of crashes in free practice we might end up using like the old old rear wing maybe even the original and uh that starts adding weight to the car and all sorts of things so let's hope that uh, that's not the case and uh, we can maybe emergency manufacture one issue that we are slightly running into it's not it's not a desperate uh, concern yet but the cost cap remaining is uh, is getting down there now. We're starting to research next year's car and uh, and all that kind of stuff as well. And we know, and it might. I don't think it is going to be this weekend. But at some point, if we go and have a look at Giovinazzi's car, he is going to need to take a new ERS because um, if we go to install replacement, yeah, this is this is his newest one. So. It's only two and a half million. It's not the most expensive component to buy, but yeah, we, we've got to, I've got to bear that in mind as well. And he might even at some point... Is it engines that he's running a little low of? Yeah, and he should be okay. But sprint rounds, of course, are going to start coming up soon as well. So we've got to bear that in mind. But uh, anyway, that's that. Let's have a quick look at what we're doing here. Singapore Grand Prix, potentially rain or, or for qualifying, almost certainly rain for qualifying. Uh, the track itself, circuit map, we can see there. Red sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. It's a street circuit, so, uh, yeah, slow speed corners for the most part. Uh, yeah, low speed, medium speed cornering is what we need. Uh, the safety car takes about four seconds off a pit stop. It is quite a big loss, considering it's, uh, I would imagine, quite a, uh, a relatively slow um, sort of overall uh, lap time. Average speed, I suppose. Uh, now, two stop, it's looking like it's going to be now a soft, soft, hard could be an interesting way to go. If we look at compound performance, the soft tire is quite a bit quicker than the hard and uh but it does degrade quite quickly as well so yeah we'll uh we'll have to have a look well yeah once we get an idea of what what our options are in terms of uh, of tire usage uh red balls were one here the previous two seasons so let's hope we can uh, put an end to that although truth be told red bull is, is not so that we're not going to beat them in the championship anyway we need to be ahead of Mercedes and, uh, and Aston Martin. That's that's They're our rivals right now. We need to be ahead of them. So if Red Bull wins, and as long as we're taking the points off the other two, then that's not bad. Obviously, though, we'd rather the bigger points if Red Bull didn't win. But uh, we can't do much about it. They are just the class of the field. So reach Q2. Uh, I'd like to think that we're going to uh, get everybody into Q3. Someone in the top four would be very nice indeed. Um, fastest lap of the race. If we put a soft tire on late on, might be okay. What's the race? I just clicking things out looking here so someone in the top four we need podiums podiums is what keeps the board happy so we need to make sure we're doing that we need two cars in the top six one car in the top six for qualifying to get our money for that one and uh that is just about that let's head off to singapore and ignore this this is just that uh, mini's contract's expiring so that's nothing to be concerned about and uh yeah let's see how bad this rain's gonna be for qualifying so heavy rain great we know we do that we do well in wet qualifying normally don't we so yeah, I mean, if uh, the one positive is if Giovinazzi stuffs this one up, we can just take penalties, go to the back, and uh, we'll be good to go for the rest of the year. But anyway, I'll do free practice, and I'll see you with an umbrella ready for qualifying. 
All right, so we've done free practice. Let's have a quick look at how we did. Now, FP1, Mick was uh, up there in P6. Uh, Giovinazzi in P15. Uh, FP2, again, we've got older engine parts in, so the positioning doesn't necessarily mean too much. Uh, we were ninth with uh, Giovinazzi, 16th with Mick. And then uh, FP3, it was 4th and 7th. This was interrupted by rain. We got some times in early on before the rain. And, uh, yeah, so it doesn't really, doesn't really make effect that much, I don't think. Now, it doesn't look like we're getting rain this first one. I will obviously uh, keep you updated with how things are going. Do we stick with that engine for this one? Maybe we do. Um, I have bought the ERS so that we've got it, uh, and I don't go over the cost cap. So that is uh, that is there. Gearbox, we have a better one we can stick in. And, um, yeah, so Q1 should be fine. And unless there's any sort of rain that slows us up, I, will, uh, I don't think I'll need to come back. All right, now it looks as though we are expecting rain in three minutes. Uh, so let's hope that uh, the guys put in some good laps here. Now we are the first two cars out, so that's positive. Uh, Giovinazzi a 128.0. I'm not really sure how that relates to uh, how we're doing the free practice, but it looks like we've put in a good time there. So it's raining now. Uh, Alonso looks like he may have missed out. If we can get uh, the radio down here from uh, Giovinazzi, Alonso... Unless this dries up, it's no. going to miss out. That could be huge for our battle with them in the constructors. So indeed, that was it. So Fernando Alonso out. Uh, let's go to Q2. All right, and we have rain. So what I am going to do, what I've done in the past and messed up a little bit, is uh, doing the multiple laps. Um, I still think it makes sense to do it that way. So what we, we're splitting it, basically, Giovinazzi is just doing one lap because it typically hasn't worked well for him doing multiple laps. And Mick is, is going to do the multiple laps. So, we'll see. There is everything is on the line here for Giovinazzi. Mick, not so much. And uh, Mick's got a little bit of clear air as well, which uh, can only be a good thing. It looks as though the rain is going to come down a little bit heavier momentarily. So, perhaps uh, doing it in one go was the way to do it. As uh, Giovinazzi is ahead of... Uh, so, Mick has gone faster on that first, first lap. Uh, he is still going, of course. Everybody will get out of his way. And uh, he's not going any faster on this lap. Now, that could be partially down to the fact that uh, there were cars in his way. He's gone faster in the second sector. Let's see what he can do on his third lap. Uh, the track is getting ever so slightly wetter, so I don't think it's going to make much difference. So we'll just call him in. He's safe right now anyway. So uh, it looks like the track is getting, again, continually getting wet up. So I think we're going to be okay here. All right, now the track has gone to much, much drier. So we've gone out for a second lap here. Uh, it's just a one-time lap. Unfortunately, Mick is very close to the back of Giovinazzi. Now I'm hoping we're going to get a lap in here before things get, uh, get quite wet and wild. And it looks like we're going to get most of the lap in. Mick's actually gone purple in the first sector. Uh, so yeah, this is looking as though it's going to go out nicely for us. First and third, we can put our feet up now. We're in the Q3. Oh, these wet weather qualifiers are so stressful, I tell you. So there we go. We take that as uh, a Q3, wouldn't we? Uh, who else has missed out? So Russell has missed out as well. He's going to be buried in the pack. Um, so this could be a nice race for us to try and, uh, and get some points back here. All right. So again, we are expecting rain in a little bit. So we will go straight out with these with our two boys and uh, hopefully try and get a bit of space between them there. Uh, so they've both got clear track, so that's good. Yeah, hopefully get a nice quick lap in before, uh, before the rain comes and see what we can do. So let's jump on board with, uh, with Geo. Uh, we want that and that. And let's see what we can do. Mick behind us on track. And uh, we'll get a look at everybody else's times here as well. If I can find intervals, leaders, tires, sectors. There we go. So Giovinazzi faster than, well, faster than Ricardo, really. There's not been anybody. Mick goes faster again. And um, Verstappen is now fastest. Perez hasn't come through a trap yet, doesn't look like. So uh, I wonder what, if, uh, if there's any chance the rain could get here before Perez does his lap, that would be very nice, wouldn't it? Perez has not gone uh, faster than Max, so that's positive. Uh, but, I mean, Max is just the fastest car, isn't he? He's gone purple, purple. Let's see where we go. Initial lap times. Giovinazzi is uh, gone fastest. Okay, currently P1. Half a second up on Danny Rick. Mick goes faster again. So let's see where this shakes out to then. 
as uh, the rain is due. There it is there. And we could be second and third on the grid here. No, we're third, second, uh, second row. Uh, Stroll and Hamilton are right up there as well. So, we'll see. There might be a second run. I suspect not. And indeed, there was not a second run. So, well, not a meaningful one anyway. So, it means that we are second row of the grid. Very, very nice place to start. Let's uh, see what we can do in the race now. Okay, now we're not expecting any rain in the race. So, strategy A is... Uh, I always... I'm, I'm increasingly liking the hard tyre because you can push it so much more. And... I'm wondering if, uh, yes, okay, so this is what I'm wondering, because we know that the, the especially the soft tyre degraded so quickly. I'm wondering if we see you stick a hard tyre on in the middle here, so you could almost push it the whole way and still, uh, yeah, it's, you're not going to want to do that, obviously. But uh, if we, say, come in there and then push that a little bit longer, and just see if that might work for us. You'd probably want to be coming in. I think we learnt in Italy, didn't we? The, the undercut was uh, was quite big. So you probably would want to come in. Is there an argument to say you start on a hard? No, because then because the undercut maybe won't be as powerful. Let me think here. Okay, so I'm wondering if there's an argument to say start on a medium. So you go a little bit longer. Hopefully everybody else has stopped. So you're not going to get coming into traffic. Go onto a hard. You'll be able to push these tires. I mean, you could, again, you could almost push this the entire, you could push this tire the entire way and uh, still make it to your stop. Even if you came in a little bit earlier onto a soft tire, then I think I like that. Um, but we don't want to, is there an argument to say I'm getting too creative here? Uh, and the, I think there's possibly an argument to say, yes, uh, a one stop doesn't really work, I don't think. And then do we maybe with Mick go a little bit more aggressive? And if there's a safety car at any point, Mick can then come in for a hard tire and and sort of go a little bit longer there. So I, uh, yeah, I think I like this. I I don't know if I'm getting too creative. That's always the risk, isn't it? But let's see how this works and uh, see if we can get someone on the podium. All right, welcome back. So an all Ferrari second row. Let's see what we can do. It looks like a fairly even mix of soft and medium tyres, does it not? Uh, now, the last thing we need here is to hit each other. We're on board with Giovinazzi. We've got Stroll on the soft tyre around the outside. Uh, but we're using our Urs. It looks like we've seen him off. Now, can Mick go and get uh, Perez? That's the big question. Oh, it's a little bit close there. Back out of that one, Mick. And, uh, yeah, we just need to try and, uh, and stay with them here. Now... I don't want to use up too much tyres early on here, particularly with Mick. Because his strategy is a little bit more dicey, isn't it? Giovinazzi has that, that little bit of wiggle room that he can push the tyres on a little bit more. And, uh, and still get away with it. So let's have a look at everybody's tyres here. There's more mediums and softs, isn't there? But of the front, you know, it's, uh, Verstappen and Giovinazzi are on the mediums. And then, uh, yeah, a bit of a drop-off after that back to, back to soft tyres. So... Yeah, I mean, do we need Mick to, to push on a little bit and go with the Red Bulls on his soft tyres? Um, he's already outside of DRS, which is a slight concern. There's no point burning up Giovinazzi's battery. Um, just need Mick to try and... if he can. The thing with DRS here is that there's the three zones, but it, it's not that... If, if a car's quicker, there's enough corners and, and other bits of the track that it's not going to keep you in uh, keep you in range necessarily. So it looks as though it's going to be Red Bulls driving off into the distance, and then we'll see we'll see where we sort of plug in from there. But DRS is enabled now, and Giovinazzi maybe just uh, dropped outside of it as well. So you don't need Stroll coming past us. Ideally, he's back into DRS there now. But anyway, we'll see how this goes. It's 63 laps, so it's not that many in terms of laps, uh, but it is a long lap. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, looks like quite a big accident. Yeah. All right, so we've had multiple cars crash. Uh, let's have a look and see exactly what has happened it's here. Uh, oh, involved. that's George Russell. Is this a Mercedes out of the race? Let's hope so. He's going for 10th and. Uh, 
Well, he's going into the pits, if nothing else. All right, so we uh, we currently we've just he's Mick. Um, unfortunately for us, when uh, Mick went past, he absolutely took off, and we've lost the DRS from the back of uh, Giovinazzi's car, which is annoying. So Russell's got a five-second penalty as well as being last. So that uh, that helps with the battle with Mercedes. Uh, though Stroll is currently all over the back of Giovinazzi, which does this does not help. Uh, let's deploy him down here. We've got DRS as well, so that should keep us ahead. And, uh, yeah, what we really need to do is um, is catch the back of Mick again. Unfortunately, yeah, the trying to get them past each other just didn't quite work out for us. Which is, uh, needless to say, not ideal. But we've more or less caught back up now. So, yeah, we'll continue on here. A safety car at a good time could uh, bring the Red Bulls back into it for us. But they are they're just a lot quicker than what we are if we look at last laps. Uh, I know that's when we were orchestrating things that we all went a little bit wrong to see how much time we lost. Um, so, yeah, well, we're actually not that much, if not anything, anything quicker than them now that we're back to, uh, yeah, back to our normal speed. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we have something for them here. All right, now we are on the in-lap for mixed stop. Uh, we are absolutely flying compared to the rest of the field. You can see we've got an eight-second gap. Now, Stroll must have stopped. What's happened to Stroll? He must have stopped. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're looking quite good. I said this is Mick's in-lap for his stop. Uh, and then once he goes, then Giovinazzi will be pushing on to, till he gets to his stop. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking let's maybe deploy Mick here as well. Uh... What lap time has Stroll done? So he came in last lap. Then we had a, quite a gap. You can see there's there's nine seconds. Hamilton was uh, was there anyway. So yeah, we're uh, we're doing quite well. Um, and uh, yeah, so here we go with Mick. Let's hope we've got a good start. Now, big thank you. I think it's Gary Chen. I think it was in the comments. It's been uh, coaching me essentially on on uh, pits, crews, and how to get better at it. Uh, it's three point two. It's not the quickest stop, but we'll take it. So I've been uh, taking on his advice. I'm hoping that uh, with that, I'm, we've, uh, we're going to minimize the errors that we get. We're still not going to have the quickest pit times. It's going to take some time for that benefit to show off. Um, now, unfortunately for Mick, he has come out dead smack in the middle of uh, some lap traffic here. Which Oh, red flag, right? Oh, Mick, flag. we've missed it by half a lap. Unbelievable. Jeevan Nazi will get a free stop here. Mick's going to be buried. We're watching the Ferrari. It's G oh, hang on. It's Giovinazzi out. Oh, and a fairly substantial crash there. And they'll definitely be facing a few questions. Oh, the race is just... That. And like that, the, the race is ruined, essentially. Giovinazzi out. Mick in 13th. And... I can't believe this. All right, so we go again. Oh, I cannot believe what has just happened. Uh, so we're on a soft tire. What we're going to do is uh, just try and make up as many positions as we can off the oh yeah, off this uh, start, and then we will obviously. Uh, well, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll either go into a medium or a hard. Probably. Well, we'll see. Giovinazzi was by himself. That is just infuriating, Giovinazzi. Like, what are you doing, man? Um. I mean, he could have done it. If he'd done it before Mick had stopped, it wouldn't have mattered. But look at how buried we are. If we're looking for any sort of positives, I mean, we're, at least we're ahead of Stroll. But Alonso's ahead of us now and Hamilton. And I'm assuming everybody's maybe going to be thinking the same thing here. And that maybe there was an argument to say we should have gone the other way. And... Um, gone on to a medium here and then maybe a soft at the end. But we need to, we need to be as quick as we can be to get uh, to get to the end here, and, and get some overtakes done. Oh, we were nailed on for a podium, and suddenly it looks like we're we're in a bit of a dogfight to try and get you know even in the top five. Whoa, yellow flag! A big There's crash! A it's Hamilton and somebody, and yeah, Averto. This has got to be a red flag again, doesn't it? Surely, because we can't get through. Flush, Surely can. a red is a red flag again. So a shame for Daniel Ricciardo because he was in third, I think, when that happened. Uh, but we're in ninth. Now we could potentially hard tire go to the end here. 
Uh, or do we go medium tire? We've got a lot of medium tires and maybe two stop it on mediums from here. Uh, well, yeah. We'll go into the medium. They're both uh, essentially new. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do here. All right, so for the third time, uh, William's on the front row. Uh, there is, I've seen some hard tires there, so those guys are going to the end. And, um, yeah, I think we want to, we want to just push as much as we can here. Hamilton's got a five second penalty, so he's ahead of us. Um, we need to get past these hard tire runners, and there's a lot of hard tire runners. So we'll do medium, medium to the end. And hopefully that's going to work out okay for us. Gasly and Albon are going to be stopping again as well. Is Verstappen going to try and take those medium tyres of his all the way to the end, I wonder. As we get past Alonso. This should be Hamilton. We've got better traction out of there. We should be later on the brakes. And job done, I would have thought and hoped. Around the outside here is a bit dicey, but we get it done. Hamilton with a time penalty as well, of course. Not even halfway through this race yet. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. But we've got a new hard and a new, uh, well, 99% medium. The, basically the tyres that Mick was on for the first red flag. So we've got plenty of, of good tyres to get us to the end here. We can get past these Alpines. We could be on for a podium yet. Um, I mean, podiums will save our job, keep us here for next season. But I, I want to make sure we're getting ahead of, Ast of Aston Martin. And as we've seen before, you know, we've only got one car making it to the finish. It just it just hurts us massively trying to uh, trying to do that. And Giovinazzi, last time it wasn't his fault. This time there was no one around him. All right, so Mick is making pretty quick work of the Alpines here. We've already got Gasly. Uh, we should get Ocon here. We've been charging up the battery for half a lap behind him. Um, we get it done through here and then DRS as well. I don't know. He might have the DRS rather than us, but it should be job done there anyway. And uh, that is up to fourth. We run down Albon now and we're sort of more or less back to where we were. But uh, yeah, still massively disappointing. All right, we have caught the back of Albon, and uh, we've sort of fumbled to get a bit of a strategy that gives us, uh, so we can push the most to get to the end. Uh, so a hard tire, and it can be full send, pretty much, for the entire stint. So, yeah, what we need to do now is uh, get Albon as quickly as we can, then pull out a gap. We know we're going to have to make another stop. Now, our other car's going to have to make a stop as well. The hard tire runners aren't, uh, but we are going to have much fresher hard tires than them, and pushing them harder when we get, uh, when we get back out. So... Yeah, we'll see. We're charging up behind Albon because we should have no problem doing that. If we can eat these tyres out a little bit, I wonder what sort of lap times are these hard tyre runners doing? So Stroll's doing a 33. Uh, he's on a hard, isn't he? Yeah. It's, diffi it's difficult to know, isn't it? It's difficult to know the best way to do this. Um, the Astri behind us is uh, doing some good times. But yeah, let's get this done. And then we can, uh, yeah, work on this gap and uh, making sure that we are not going to have to... Of course, you know, the bigger the gap we can pull, then that's uh, that's cars we don't have to overtake. Then we can see here 34s for Ocon. Uh, so that's probably a good place to look. Ocon is currently seven seconds behind us. So we need to eke that out in these next few laps here to as close to 20-odd seconds as we can. And um, I think it was... Uh, I remember it was, was it 20, 27 seconds I can't be right can it the pit stop lost time so that would bring us out to Hamilton so far um, but we'll obviously try and uh, and and clear that out a little bit uh, as we go here let's get some quick times in Nick oh a virtual safety car has come out yeah, now hold, it's hold there, not too late Russell has crashed is he okay it's not yeah, too late okay. uh, too early I should say to put a hard tire on and uh, stay positive. and get to the end. Obviously, we won't okay. be able to push it as hard. Where would we come out if we were to stop now under a virtual safety car? We would come out fifteenth, which doesn't really help us that much, does it? 
think it was still a 20 odd second loss. Um, so it might be we need to just sort of take this on the chin. So Alvin from behind us has stopped. Now what I'm thinking is that if if it's I think I think it saved about three seconds the virtual safety car. I think we're going to be, make up more than that three seconds being able to a push harder now and then b push harder on the on the hard tire at the end. So I don't think it necessarily helps us coming in uh, coming in earlier. So we'll see. Alvin came out in fifteenth and he wasn't he was only a second or two behind us. So we would be looking at coming out probably in 15th or 14th it would be, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I think uh, I don't think that was worth our while doing. All right, now Gasly has just come in from behind us. He actually was ahead of us for a little bit on a soft tire. He's come out in 12th. Uh, so what we are doing right now is uh, we were deploying. We are pushing these tires to the absolute maximum. The plan, I think, is next lap to come in. Um, now, Gasly's gone back onto a soft. I don't... Could a soft tyre... Hang on a second here. Gasly, uh, not that one. Resume. Could a soft tyre get to the end here? Uh, so if we edit this... Uh, let's just get rid of one of these earlier stints so we can add a new one. Um, could a soft tyre... Get to the end? And the answer to that is yes, it could. I mean, we wouldn't be able to push it, but it's still a soft tire going to the end. Now, is that better than, I mean, a medium tire even? Pushing a medium tire might be a better way to go here than the hard. So if we get rid of that, so lap 47 is where we're at. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's let's go and push a medium tire to the end, never mind a hard. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can, what we can do here. So this is the optimal lap then, this is lap 47. So we want to come into the pits this lap, stick on our medium. And see see what we can do. Now we're looking at Gasly, Gasly on a soft is going to be quite quick. He will probably jump us if we're honest. Um, but can we uh, be out somewhere near him? Piastri's on a soft as well. Uh, but he's stuck behind Hamilton right now. So yeah, Gasly's the one. I think we're going to come out somewhere near Gasly. And then the question is, lap time wise, I mean, these guys are doing 34s. Can we get, basically, can we get back to third? And uh, we've still got a few laps to do it. What we need here, of course, is a I say Ferrari special. The last thing we want is a Ferrari special. Just a nice pit stop. Virtual safety car, safety car. So, we've got a little bit of... Oh, we've got an issue, do we? Well, it's been minimized. Who's crashed? Oh, and the red flag! It's Hamilton and Piastri. Hamilton has just got a vengeance on the Australians. He's taken out Ricardo. Now he's taken out Piastri. Uh, we could have got... So we're eight. We're having zero luck whatsoever. Everybody's going to get fresh tires again. It, the game has it out for me. We could have been sitting in third. We've done one more lap. So, for the fourth time, let's try this again. Now, a lot of soft tyres. Soft tyres are not going to get there uh, with any great pace. Certainly not the same sort of pace that we're looking to have here. Uh, so, we'll, we'll go off the line. Uh, now, we didn't really have any soft tyres to use. So, that wasn't particularly an option for us. Um, we should be deploying... We've lost out to science there. What we need to do is stay calm here and and know that we're going to have better pace for longer here. Um, I, we've been just a lap out, haven't we? We could have had... Probably, we could... Well, we probably not win the race because the Red Bulls, I don't think they had stopped either at certain times. But if we'd had any sort of luck with red flags coming out, you know, sec literally, so we're in the pit lane when that red flag came out, then, I mean, we would have absolutely walked at the third here, wouldn't we? And now, again, we're going to be battling to try and get back to the podium, and it's just, we've clearly got the pace in this car to come third today. It's just, the fates seem to be conspiring against us to make sure it doesn't happen. Big shunt for him. Watch out for Debris. 
So Alonso has now crashed. And uh, no, we just got past Alonso, so thankfully that's not going to affect us too badly. Uh, it looks like we're going to get past Science here. And that'll bring DRS back online. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we keep going. But, um, yeah, we're in seventh. Albin, Stroll, Ocon, and Norris. They should be cars we're able to get, shouldn't they? Surely. All right, now we're just a little bit stuck right now behind this battle with uh, Stroll and Albin. Um, so we've been harvesting up, trying to save our tire life a little bit. And hopefully now, um, we'll see if we can. I don't want to deploy at the wrong time. So it is a bit of a DRS train. I think our best bet to deploy is uh, sort of this uh, newly done back straight because it's not a DRS zone. So we c we're not going to get worried about them both uh, both getting DRS. So I think the plan is we're going to deploy out of this corner here. Not necessarily thinking we're going to get an overtake done down here. That would be very nice if we could. Can we get it done on Stroll? Not quite. But down here is where I'm hoping it's going to make a difference for us. And it's not done that. So we are, we're just stuck, which is not good really really not good we're gonna have to really push the tires here i think let's deploy through here let's okay this could be it we've got one no drs on the williams can we go and get him as well go on go on send it in send it in mick send it in mick there we go around the outside of alban that's up to fifth and we can see the podium in front of us now we just need to go and get it All right, so we are lurking and stalking. We're just outside of DRS range. We're charging up the batteries. We've got a little gap behind us now, so Albin is out of DRS. We don't have to worry about him. He and Stroll are continuing their battle. And uh, we'll get a look at the lap times here, but it looks like we've taken about a second out of them this lap. They've done 30, low 32s. We did a mid 31. Uh, and we're, we're harvesting while we do that. Now, the reason that we're harvesting is because uh, we, when we get there, we're going to have a similar situation where they are both... Uh, you know, in a DR, potentially we're going to be in a DRS train. So uh, I just want to make sure that we have a full battery and we can deploy for a sort of a full lap or two. And then um, we should be able to take care of them because we're, we're definitely quicker than both of them. Uh, we're not quite in DRS range yet. What's the gap? 1.5, 1.3, 1.6 out of there. But that's because we're not deploying and they probably are. So we should charge up the batteries fully into turn one here, I would have thought, or certainly if not into turn one, then into the, uh, at the end of the long straight here, I think there's a recharge zone as well. And then we'll be able to sort of take the handbrake off of charging the battery. We've got stroll behind us, so we seem to be a little bit careful of that. That's more or less a full battery as far as I'm concerned. We've got 62% tire life. We've got about four laps to go. What's everybody else's tire life like? So everybody's got pretty good tire life, even the soft tire runners. But they probably, I'm hoping anyway, won't be able to push quite as hard as we can. And the last thing we want to do is get Stroll coming past us here. So I'm looking at that. Uh, let's maybe do we go off board. He is, he is right there. And we seem to be holding him fairly comfortably right now. If we get within DRS range of the cars in front, and we are just outside of it right now, then that's going to protect us from him and he's right there he's right there I'm tempted to go deploy <laughs> I think we've seen him off and uh, yeah we I think with a couple of laps to go then we can just go full send on tires and everything and uh, we're very much we're very much there now aren't we so I think the time may be upon us to deploy attack the tires and let's get this done come on Mick just don't do a George Russell and stick it in the wall but we do we do need this podium to uh, keep the board on our side here two soft tired runners an Alpine and a McLaren Ocon who of course took out oh, we could get a double overtake done oh Mick probably was thinking about it but that should be Ocon out of the way as long as we can drive into the side of us again now it's down to Lando Norris and probably need to get it done right there, Mick. Is he going to have... Yeah, we do have DRS, and that'll be that. 
So, nicely driven by Mick. Uh, we'll just, there's no point to continuing to push the tyres too hard. And uh, as long as we keep out of the uh, Loris from coming back past us, and he's far enough back, we don't have to worry about that. Mick should, the very, very hard way, having to come from mid-pack two or three times, be on the podium here, and it'll be the most deserved podium of the season. Of anybody. The, oh, Lando Norris is back. Go away, Lando. We'll deploy again and just make sure he's not uh, going to ruin our day. He's still somewhere there. Lando, go away! Go away, go away, go away. I don't need this, mate. Oh, he's got back past us. That mother effer. And we're out of battery, too. Well, this is problematic. Um, final lap for Verstappen, and we find ourselves behind... Uh, behind Lando. Okay, so we need to deploy. We need to get this done down the straight. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. You've got DRS. You've got DRS. And... Okay. We're not going to muck around with it this time. We're just going to go. We're going to deploy. We're going to break that free. And uh, there's only one DRS zone to go. We should have enough battery. Do we get a charge up into this corner? I hope so, because otherwise uh, we're out of battery. Lando seven tenths of a second back. Just about. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mick, I'm going to tell you, mate, we might want to defend on this one. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? That doesn't look good. All right, come on. Late on the brakes. He gets it done. Mick Schumacher, take a bow, mate, because that is one of the drives of the season. Well done. A podium finish for Mick. And he's come from, as I said, midfield two or three times there. Well done. So 15 points in the bank. Now, on this occasion, we've uh, pulled some points back because Aston Martin have only scored eight and Mercedes have scored nothing. So such a shame that Giovinazzi couldn't have been up there as well and really take advantage of it. But uh, let's have a look at uh, 15 points. So we've uh, we've nicked, well, we've nicked about 8.7 points back from them. And uh, a bit of 15 points out of Mercedes. But that could have been, on another day, third and fourth, couldn't it? But uh, anyway, ifs, buts, and maybes. Oh, we've scored a pit point! Mick, you've scored a pit point for us, mate. Wonderful work. A 3.2 second stop. And we're off the mark. We've got two points. Hang on, let me get rid of myself. We don't want to see me. Look at that. We've got two points in the pit stop. First time since Bahrain Season 1 that we've scored a pit point. So Giovinazzi has somehow managed to get himself a driver rating increase for hitting the wall completely un, uh, unprovoked. Mini's got himself one as well. He'll be, of course, off to Formula 2 or Formula 3 for next season. Uh, now, what does the board think of that? The board should be okay with that. Board confidence. Um, and they're satisfied. So... Yeah, I'm hoping that, I mean, they're disappointed with uh, with how we're doing in terms of season objectives, which is fair enough, because we're failing to do it. But equally, um, race results have been okay. We've just seemed to have the second car taken out at different top points, don't we? But anyway, let's see if we can get to the end of the season. If we can keep getting podiums, surely, surely they'll keep us around for next season at that point. If you've enjoyed that, though, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time in Japan. And hopefully it'll be another podium and maybe even two cars actually finishing the race. Take care.